is Tuesday, July 11th, 2023, about uh, 9.33 in the morning. Beaver Island over there, approaching the southern end of it. Uh, left St. James Harbor about an hour ago. Uh, it took us quite a while to get out of the anchorage there. We had uh, a weedy mess on the chain. Uh, I had not put tightened down the clutch on the windlass very tight apparently and we were on the boat we heard some chain strip off the other day and so I retrieved that and tightened up the clutch uh, apparently a lot more chain had stripped prior to that and so we've been dragging a whole bunch of chain all over the anchorage bottom picking up a ton of weeds so when all that spare chain came up, it was covered. It took a long time to get that off. And we had anchored four nights there. And all sorts of wind shifts. And then yesterday, it got really, really windy. Violent gusts. Uh, I can't say we were all over the place, but we did swing quite a bit on the anchor. So yeah, it took us quite a while to get that mess cleaned up this morning. Uh, right now, got some fair winds. We're on a broad reach. Uh, we'll be closer to beam reach when we once we round the southern tip of the island here. Uh, heading homeward bound. Got a haul out scheduled on Friday morning. Here we are trying to meet a schedule again. Got a haul out and step the mast. Haul out on Monday, possibly or Tuesday, sometime early next week, and that is it until next year. Depressing. Very depressing. The whole year. So we're not planning on coming up until after the 4th of July weekend next year. Right now, it's pretty fair sailing. It won't last, of course. Winds are supposed to do, do just about everything under the sun in the next 24 hours, and we figure it's probably going to be at least 30 hours to Manitowoc, so it's an overnighter tonight. Maybe 36 hours. done nearly enough of this on this trip.
view from the granny bar and the wind's picked up, I need to do a little sail trim. and South Fox Islands are over here. This is as close as we've ever been to the Fox Islands. We uh, sailed not too close to them, but uh, on our way to, well, we didn't know where we were going. We ended up in Leland. We left Beaver Island. That was a few years ago. And we've never been up in this neck of the woods again. So uh, anyway, we're uh, had the option of either going around all the Fox Island shoals up here or through them in the marked passage. And just to say I'd done it, I picked through them, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think it's really like threading a needle. I think any numbskull in good weather could do it. So let's see if this numbskull can. Uh, minor crisis developed. I had gone up to clean up everything on the foredeck from uh, getting the anchor up this morning. And uh, I went below for some reason and I'd already put all the, uh, the deck wash down hose and all that stuff away. I went below for some reason and heard the domestic water pump running. Uh, not in a good way. And shut it off real quick and checked our water tanks. Sure enough, bone dry. So we were showing a quarter of a tank in the tanks yesterday. We managed to use it all up, even uh, trying to be a little miserly with the use of the water. So, just so that we have some water to shower, well, mainly wash our hands and do a little spit bath with. Uh, I closed one of the tanks. I just put some water from the uh, anchor wash down, which is lake water into the port tank, a little bit of bleach. If we have to drink it, we'll probably be okay. I don't know what kind of industrial minerals might be in the water or anything, so we'll try to minimize how much water we drink, but hopefully uh, be enough to get us to Manitowoc and we can replenish it if we have to. So, it's been a beautiful sail so far today. Uh, are taking some uh, rollers on broadside right now making it uh, occasionally a little rolly and a little noisy. Got to go up and resecure the boom here with the boom brake pretty quick. It's starting to get some slack in it. Anything to add, hon? Uh, Is it nice? Not, or isn't it nice to be able to sail? We're sailing, which is, what we came to do. which is what we came to do and have done precious little of on this trip. So, it's lovely. so yeah. I know the day's not over yet. The day ain't over yet. But I'll take that. Yeah, me too. And it's a gorgeous day. And the Fox Islands over here are emerald green, verdant. Man, do they look inviting. 
not this trip. All right. Our new friend Chuck has strongly recommended that we anchor on the south side of South Fox Island and visit the lighthouse, uh, which hopefully we will someday do, but again, not this trip. travel update. It's about uh, just a little before five o'clock in the evening. Uh, I think we're still on Eastern time. Uh, got South Fox Island over there and North Manitou Island over there. We had no more than gotten through the marked pass. In fact, before we got through the marked passage at uh, shoals south of uh, Fox Island. Uh, the wind started dying, kind of getting a little switchy, fluky, and then uh, when they kind of started to fill in again, they were the only way could, we could maintain a keep the sails filled and with the rollers, all, everything was kind of rattling around and making a bunch of noise and everything. The only way to keep keep things quiet and keep things sailing was to head for the Manitou Passage. So we decided to tack and be in a slow boat and poor sailors, the best we could do was about uh, a northwesterly heading which was sending us back up the lake. Anyway we uh, kind of stuck to it for a while and the wind started to back a little bit. and uh, we were able to get uh, a little better heading down lake so that's where we're at now still right now headed at the southern tip of the garden peninsula so not really where we wanted to go we we're just going to kind of get out in the middle of the lake so we could tack and uh, have free water ahead of us and not head behind the manitou islands and then have to worry about tacking and a bunch of stuff there so anyway that's a strategy again sort of headed down lake but, and of course, we're not using the engine on this trip at all because uh, we're having some drivetrain problems. Um, we had a haul out and we started getting some uh, really bad noise uh, leaving Lake Charlevoix. It was very temporary. Changed the RPM, it cleared it up. Uh, went below, looked around, couldn't find anything obvious. And, uh, as we started getting towards Sutton's Bay that day, the, uh, we had a nice sail down uh, Lake Michigan until we got about half an hour, 45 minutes out of Sutton's Bay and the uh, wind died. So we fired up the engine, furled the sails, fired up the engine, and man, it was uh, making all kinds of noise in the drivetrain. Didn't matter what RPM, and it just got worse and worse and worse. So uh, we had to go back to Charlevoix for uh, an alternator repair told them about our drivetrain problems. They said we'll take a look at it and we ended up getting an expensive haul out there twice and the replacement of a cutlass bearing. They thought it might be the prop at first. It's a max prop feathering prop. Uh, prop checked out okay. Uh, they were fairly certain it was the cutlass bearing that was causing the problem. They replaced that. That was a very difficult deal. It was stubborn, very obstreperous. And uh, so it took several hours to do that, but uh, and things seemed to be running fairly smoothly. But by the time we got to Beaver Island, 
Uh, the wind had died again. We had a nice sail up there, but uh, we had to fire up the engine to get into uh, St. James. And the rattling and the knocking started coming back again. So we were determined that uh, that was going to end the vacation. We would head back down the lake to our home port and run the engine as little pot as possible to avoid doing any further damage. I think we've got a couple of CV joints in the uh, uh, drivetrain that are going out or a thrust bearing. Anyway, so that's the circuitous explanation as to why we are determined to sail all the way home. Anything to add, hon? Well, and we're here to sail. So and we're here to sail. Yeah, yeah, this is our last draw until for a year. A whole year. travel update probably the last one tonight um, winds uh, really didn't cooperate very well we uh, end up heading across the lake and uh, I'll be most of the time down the lake but only barely and uh, only recently well the wind started to back and uh, gave us a little bit of an advantage and uh, so we we're able to head a little more down the lake and then they veered and then we started crossing again and now they backed again and uh, things are looking a little better um, but we're still going to have to tack at some point if this keeps up uh, it's about uh, they must not have put up the welcome at Wisconsin sign here but uh, it's about 8.20 Wisconsin time, central time 0120Z and uh, Michelle just went below. She's going to get about three hours of sleep and come up and uh, relieve me so I can go below and get a little shut eye here after a while. And anyway, hoping to get to Manitowoc whenever we get there, I guess. So, probably midday at the earliest, more than likely, later than that. Uh, Washington Island, by the way, in sight over here. And uh, Manitou Island still in sight over here. Had a an overnighter last night. A long, somewhat sleepless night, at least for me. Has been receiving an open mic on channel 16 in the vicinity of Gulliver. All mariners are equipped to detect their radio operation. Never fails. Um. So anyway, we've. Uh, everything to try to make this waypoint and we're still losing ground against it. Uh, been on a port tack with the exception of a, a brief starboard tack to try to get us back out in the lake and away from shore. Try a little experiment. It was 
much too early, we knew that. But uh, ever since the wind shifted just north of North Manitou Island, that carried us across the lake, losing a little bit of ground until it started to back a little bit and improved our situation. Backed or veered, I can't even remember anymore. But my brain is like jello. Yeah, I haven't had much sleep, so. Anyway, uh, our waypoint off of Raleigh Point, it just keeps getting further and further away. We've got another at least an hour beyond that. Uh, and we just can't get there. We just can't get there. We've been at a pinch most of the day. Yeah, we've been pinching. Uh, wind improves, we were able to run directly at the waypoint. We're thinking, okay, we got it made now, and then the wind dies, veers, and uh, anyway, it's just been that whole cycle all through. So, winds are supposed to be southeasterly, switching to east, which either of which would be more favorable than they are now. Uh, they've been uh, mostly directly out of the south. Uh, somewhat southwesterly at times, so they've gotten the forecast about as accurately as they usually do up here. So anyway, haven't filmed much and probably won't film much more because it looks like uh, more of this today. Nothing to see except for frustration. Sorry, That's the way it goes. Our last day on the water, 2023. got a schedule again so that's and mechanical problems which is what's precipitated this situation well once again we're sailing directly at the impossible waypoint our spirits are a little improved. We're getting some nicer sailing and it's taking us in the direction we want to go. Yeah, knock on wood big time. Uh, it's nicer than it looks. A little on the cool side, but overcast, a little gloomy. Uh, but we're putzing along at a uh, good six knots now. And again, headed for we need to go. The impossible waypoint is getting closer. Still two hours away from it. And uh, I'm feeling a little punchy right now. Uh, well, your wife just had a <laughs> Yeah, she just had a hysterical breakdown. Three hours sleep. She started laughing uncontrollably. I've seen this kind of hysteria before. So, anyway, yeah, last day of our vacation on the water. We should be really enjoying ourselves. And actually, the sailing now is pretty nice. If it had been this way the whole way, it wouldn't be so bad. But uh, a little zigzag there. That's uh, kind of typifies what it's been like since North Manitou Island. We had a beautiful day of sailing up to that point. Yeah, bummed and depressed. It's our last day with the boat this year, and now we can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> vacation it's not over it's never going to be over it's the endless vacation it's a hotel california you can check out but you can never leave here <laughs>